But Comics has found some counterplay. We're going right into FD. Um, oh, wow. He just ran right at him. Oh, and he's oh going God. after him okay. off stage, too. All right. Maybe a little bit of a questionable take because it meant that he had no jump and basically took 95. Took 95 and deep breathing is... Okay, I think deep breathing just ran out, but... Oh, man. I, I, you know, it's worth noting, I just want to say... Yeah, it's 20 seconds. You know, you said another player who... I, I, I don't even, I'm not even going to talk about it. Um, another player who uh, John Numbers had lost to recently was Kuga. And he absolutely kind of demolished him earlier in this yeah. bracket. When asked about it later, he said he has been doing focus training by exclusively playing Tetris. Uh, which is... I Honestly, there's merit to that. Absolutely. And I think that the mentality has kind of been fixed. Because just look at the dividends. It's paying oh right here. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that's a Tetris move, right? Yeah. All right. Oh, gosh. And John already has uh, Kamex almost completely locked in percent. That is going to be enough to do just that. Um, yeah, and John said again last week that it won't happen again, that he's not going to lose to Kamex again. So let's see if that comes to fruition here. But certainly John keeping good to his word at the moment. Oh, and that's he coming out Ooh. from Kamex. And D John is back as well. Oh, uh, yeah, no, that was actually a... Because that's actually the kind of range where there probably could have been an edge guard, you know, if he hadn't died. But that death is seriously going to cost him. Good job catching that frame, uh, just frame trapping him. But still not able to actually close out the stock. Even here, a forward throw is nowhere near enough. It's going way out there, way deep, and that actually kind of gives numbers the room to come back. But a solid ledge trap, that back air is actually going to do the work. Yeah, that, it's an underrated aspect of Sonic's gameplay is the um, is the edge guarding game. He has a lot of lingering hitboxes, things like there, things um, like down air, just cover so much space and he can get back from it so uh, easily. Um, that you know, Sonic's edge guarding game is underrated for sure. I mean, he's gonna need to really yeah. pull it up right now. Okay, oh, that we is, that is the guarding. that is the most Sonic thing I have ever seen. Neutral as air, soon know. as no 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 it was it was it was a side view or down I can't tell the I difference. thought it was a neutral air. let's see here yeah no it was it was a, it was a side that was a startup of side view right I think trying to do do a, a spin <laughs> shot right why do all of his moves look the same <laughs> well that? on the bright side that means that we can't be wrong what's that was that Stop. it's Schrodinger's uh dis no, that's a, that's a startup that's a startup side view or down B. Okay. I don't know which sure. one it is and look I've been commentating yeah. this game in Smash Four forever I <laughs> still right. it's not I still cannot tell the yeah, I still cannot tell the difference. Um, but yeah, so Son Sonic's do that out of out of hit stun a lot. Just, you know, do this, the uh, spin shot backstage, um, and right there it uh, ends up killing Kamex. Oh right. man, that was actually a really important clip. That okay, numbers is now in control here, but not really able to get a ledge trap going. There's been a lot of offstage play so yeah. far. I'm really liking it. These two are not afraid to challenge each other off the level, and ooh. Here's another one. Those springs. He's been doing... I really like the spring usage, actually, because normally we say, don't go off stage against numbers. It's what he wants. But if you spring, you're not actually putting yourself at that much risk. You lose a little bit of, you know, a bit of stage positioning. But for the most part, Kamex is still getting back to ledge when he needs to. Kamex really hasn't had to commit a whole lot off the stage. That's good. Wow. That sounds like he's just barely getting out of the way of that F-Smash. Great pressure by John on the shield there. Oh. So those spin dashes out of the corner are getting caught. He has no invincibility. Oh, yeah, oh. That, we pretended it was out of a hole out the hit ledge. Down, that's that, a down tilt, though. Down? Oh, that was so big. He's actually the invincibility of uh, Side B coming into play there. Okay. Using that, that great speed that Sonic has to, to space out of the way. The snipe. Getting him out of disadvantage from across the stage. Now John Numbers is the one in control here. Another wow. one of those. Boy, how, all the, think about the amount of stocks that have been taken from Numbers projectiles. Yeah. It's at least four now. Is it five? I don't even know. And it, it, a lot of it, again, it's casting those spin dashes. Going to need to see a little bit more mix from Kamex. I know it's tough for Sonic to get back to stage without that spin dash. Um, oh, wow. Just going to be able to take the top of that. Kind of crazy. Um, but again, the, the spin dashes are coming from places that Numbers is able to punish them with these projectiles, right? That's the issue that Sonic has that he can't punish uh, or that he, you know, has issues getting in against projectiles, especially ones that are, like, kind of slow and lingering, like Sun Salutation and Soccer Ball. Yeah, that's Numbers has just been abusing that so beautifully. Oh, but now he's trapped in the corner. He's going to have to find his way out. No Sun Salutation charged up. He doesn't need to, and F tilt at the ledge. That almost did it. That almost pulled at 80. Oh, oh, oh he can't. So, to me, that tells me he doesn't know. Because um, 
That has invincibility and it, be and it beats get up attacks. So, I mean, Sonic has a really good get up attack that like moves in really far forward and really far back. So it might just not work for Sonic. Nice that, that that one didn't kill him. Oh, oh my okay. gosh! Oh, you almost got him with the back. All right, you might be dead here. Yeah, you're just dead. Wow. Does it that counts as another projectile kill, right? Yeah. Ooh. Oh God. Okay, we're just gonna get up against the Sonic S match now. No jump. Oh, I just realized. Wow. Why did, you, why did you let John pick the music? You fool. This track's a banger. <laughs> okay. N numbers, you know, being forced to stage quite a lot here, but gonna be able to get back that time around. Yeah, okay. Charging in the corner. Action goes for the dash attack. Challenging Sonic's charging up like that. Numbers has no fear in his heart. And I, I feel, honestly, I feel like he doesn't, like, so, Kamex hasn't earned the fear yet. And, okay, that, that, that forward smash is still not enough to actually take it. And now deep breathing in effect. Sun Salutation doing so much damage. You're 88, yeah. Oh my god. Just going for a raw off smash trying to beat the spin dash. Not able to get it out quite in time. Numbers still not being able to get back to the stage, which has been a little bit of an issue, but like Numbers is also living until 170 every stop. So yeah. he's getting away with getting edgeguarded forever because he's just trading until he kills Kamex. Yeah. As an aside, I love how Numbers always knows exactly how much invincibility he has on respawning. That's something that even top players don't use. Oh my okay, God. so there were two times before that that Numbers tried to up smash spin dash. So Kamex, like, just, they, they didn't realize what Numbers was, go was going for. And uh, Numbers was like, ah, you're going to spin that at me a third time? Third time is a charm, my friend. Do you not know that's, the saying? Is it? Uh, hold on. That's pretty frame tight. Yeah, Isn't I mean, it? it's a reaction. Like, like he, so he, Numbers is reacting to the spin dash there. He did this a couple times in the set. I just wanted to point this. He's dashing back here because he knows where spin dash is going to go. Because he knows he can't punish it from right there. So he's going to dash back one time. And actually, does he go, just go straight for up smash? No, he dashes back first, so I was right. He dashes back, goes for up smash. Up smash has invincibility. You actually saw the invincibility frames right there as well. If we can go back just... Oh, it's going to keep playing. Let me pause it first. Uh, okay. Um, so, yeah, you're going to see it here. Um, once again, uh, Kamex goes high, double jumps up. Numbers right here. You're going to see the invincibility frames come out right there. Yeah. And, yeah, that's going to be enough for the up smash to beat side B and numbers. And I also Does just like, fact, when you look promise. at this, when you look at this entire, um, uh, this entire interaction here, how did it start? Oh, so this, uh, wait, how do we, um, I think Kamek side me through numbers or no, no, it's, you know, th what I was just going to say is that this, the whole thing started because Kamex went in for this, I believe it was a spin dash. Yeah. Went in for a spin dash. And normally people say, oh, spin dash, it's so hard to punish. It's he can't do anything about it. But this shows that numbers knows. Because once mm. he does that, he's up here in the air. Let's and think. then it's a matter of catching him the next option he has now that he what? has lost stage positioning. That's the thing. I mean, can we just go back just a little bit here? Yep. Uh, to where the spin dash hits the shield. I should just be using minus 10, but that's fine. So spin dash hits the shield here, right? Yeah. So once spin dash hits the shield, Sonic, Sonic is forced to do something. That something is usually somewhat reactable. Here, the something was, you'll see right here, a double jump. Double jump. Meaning that now, Kamex has two options to either spin dash back to stage or retreat back to ledge. Those are the only two options that Kamex has. Numbers can cover both, so Numbers does his first dash forward, gets back there, dashes a second time, catches it with the up smash. And yeah, that's that in terms of, um, you know, numbers over, uh, goodness, Kamex. Yeah. yeah. And, 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 and honestly, if I had to, you know, just say something, numbers is looking really good tonight. Yes. If I had to put money on one player winning uh, tonight's bracket, yeah. I very well think it might be our own Johnny Numericals. It really depends on who he runs into. You know, last time Dill played real well versus numbers. Um, I think Dill may have won did, either the last Xeno or the Xeno before that. Did Dill enter uh, tonight? Yes. Well, we're, we're, we're commenting Dill next, so... Uh, yeah. I can't read. Dill, Dill didn't make fun of me. Dill did, in fact, enter tonight. Um, and again, we'll, 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 we'll come back. I'll see you here in just one second. But, yeah. Uh, winner's Quarters is, is going to be coming up next. Uh, Dill versus is, um, Skeet, Skeet which, is, which is a name. Uh, I, I beg to differ. What's also a name is... A